Hey there, smartphone fans. Welcome back to another honest hands-on review on tech from China you probably never heard of but should have. And today, if you're looking for a very good close to Samsung S8 experience on a budget price, I might have the best Chinese alternative out there. Welcome to my Ligu S8 Pro honest hands-on review. How close does the Chinese clone get to the Samsung S8 on an affordable price? And this is the Ligu S8 Pro. It's an S8 for a reason. It's definitely meant to be mimicking the phone, but it's not a bad clone. It's not one of those cheap ones which have horrible build quality cameras. It's actually a very quality device. You can tell from the package. From the start, you get a fast charging charger, which charges the whole battery in just around an hour's time. And next off, we have a very premium coated USB type C cable, much better than anything you can get at any price. It's a very premium cable, and it's not one of those longer Chinese made up cables, just a standard USB type C cable. And in the package, you also get a very nice silicon shockproof protector. And now let's take a look at the S8 Pro as well. As you can see, very, very good looking phone. Uh, glass on the back, very stylish, very well done. On the bottom, you do have the 3.5 mm headphone jack and the USB Type-C and the single speak grill. The back is glass is very premium looking and very, very lovely to look at. The phone is very light at around 166 7 grams total weight. And there's some surprises here as well. Since this is a dual SIM device, but it's very, very different. Two sides have a single SIM slot, that's right. On the right side, on the right side, you have a separate single SIM slot, which one of them can be used as a micro SD card expansion. This comes with Lego's own OS, which offers customizations such as free teams, wallpapers, and quick search. And it's also running on Android 7.1.1 Nougat, so a step ahead of most other un relatively unknown Chinese brands. And it's nice to see that the small companies aim to take the big guns by providing a lot of customization options. Like I said, free teams and wallpapers are usually reserved for top-end devices and Lego wants you to believe they can be a top-end device. Now, a few years back, I wouldn't even have thought of buying a Lego phone and they were like really cheap devices, but they've grown a lot and now offer actually a very premium overall experience. And they also give you the option, if you don't want, you don't have to use Google services or the Google Play Store. The Lego S8 Pro comes also with an Aptoid app store, which also has newer app versions than the Google Play Store. So if you don't want to, you don't have to use Google services and Play Store. You can use the Aptoid to install your apps and you don't need to be strictly locked into Google. And here you can take a look at all the specs. 6 inch, 4 HD plus, Infinity 18 by 9 display, 6 gigs of RAM. 64 gigs of onboard storage. There's two cameras on the back, an Omnivision and the Samsung sensor. And on the front, there's a Samsung sensor with a front facing flash. You have all the sensors you need running Android 711 Nougat. When it comes to connectivity, the S8 Pro offers a step above most Chinese devices. 4G will definitely work in Asia and in Europe everywhere, but it does have limited USA and Canada connectivity, so do check if your operator supports these bands. And speaking about connectivity, I did have no problems getting 4G straight away here in Eastern Europe, and the phone also supports a voice over LT or VoLTE, but my carrier here really doesn't support that, so I don't have no way of testing it. The phone also supports 5 GHz Wi-Fi, which is mandatory in 2018. And all of that being said, what about actual performance of the Lego S8 Pro? How close here does it get to Samsung S8? Well, I have to say pretty darn close if you ask me. Just take a look at how light and breezy everything runs on the S8 Pro. Opening, closing apps, multitasking, it really does take very good advantage of the huge 6 gigabytes of RAM it offers and rarely reloads any apps. Opening even one of the heaviest apps like Skype, like Tumblr, heavy social medias are really not a problem here for the Lego S8 Pro. Split screen multitasking work, uh, screen recording as well. This is a very, very fast phone and the display has in cell touch built in and you feel very close to the touching experience. There's no delay when you press something. It's just a very, very well built device, I have to say. Uh, as a Chinese device, as a budget 
device budget friendly. This is perhaps the best Helio P25 phone in terms of raw performance and uh, light usage that I've ever tested. But what about gaming? Oh, well, here the Helio P25 can't really punch much above its weight, and yes, the Samsung SA is probably a better phone. All that being said, even the heavier games like Lineage 2 Revolution and Modern Combat 5 run in very acceptable frame rates, considering this is higher than full HD resolution. And we're talking about a phone that's on an affordable budget price here. Legal S8 Pro is an okay gaming phone in my books. It's able to run the most latest and demanding 3D titles on the Android Play Store very, very respectably considering the budget price. And of course, when it comes to, of course, benchmarks like Antutu, this is the new Antutu 7 and the score is actually very, very good, surpassing even the Redmi 5 Plus Snapdragon 625. It's one of the best uh, mid-range chips you can buy right now. And it's not just in the to benchmark, Geekbench also shows excellent results. So Ligo have definitely done some optimizations and put very good RAM speed and management. Storage core is excellent again for me. And of course, this is all in sports mode. The battery life is a 3000 mAh battery, but even in sports mode, it definitely lasts your full day with around 6-7 hours of screen on time. But the phone is thin and it might get a little bit hot if you game for longer periods. And now we get to the display part. And the display is a real, real nice one. It's that in cell technology, really close to the touch. There really is no delay. It's a joy operating the Lego S8 Pro display, a really premium display experience. Sure, this is not an AMOLED panel, but it's a very, very fine IPS one. And next up, you can check the sound quality of the Lego S8 Pro. Now onto the cameras, and this is where usually Chinese devices fail. But Ligu have absolutely put in the effort here. 4K view, even there is stabilization on the Omnivision sensor on the back, and you can tell because the photos in good lighting conditions have absolutely no noise and appear with lots and lots of detail. So this is Ligu S8 Pro here really surprised me because I was expecting a very simple camera. I don't think the camera is absolutely amazing by all means but it will definitely be satisfiable for like 90% of users out there for even for low light indoor shots and even extremely low light shots the Lego S8 Pro actually manages to take a decent very low light shot every now and again if I have to say the photo quality um, maybe somewhere between the Redmi 4X and the Redmi Note 4X so definitely not punching above its price tag but it's nice to see that a different sort of company besides Xiaomi and Meizu have actually done a decent camera experience phone here and this is actually encouraging and on to the other settings well it phones camera UI is definitely feature packed here you have night mode you have uh, a bokeh effect and yes the other sensor is not just for sure it really does get depth of field information because all the depths of few shots I've taken looked very very well on the Ligo S8 Pro as you can see here this is taken with the depth of field information for me the bokeh effect here far surpasses anything that I've seen on Duji, Ukitel and on Maze phones so again software or hardware here great job by Ligo there's even some kind of like a portrait mode which they call a pause mode which you just strike a pause and it uh, blurs the background but I've not really gotten around to this at all. The front camera experience offers uh, very detailed, very customizable selfie experience and the front camera is actually definitely not. But I think most of you will definitely like Ligu S8 Pro's front camera, especially because of that front facing flash, which helps in really long light situations. In the video recording department, we have again made an effort enabling 4K video recording on the device and it's 
quality is very very good but it does suffer from some focus cutting so it's definitely don't move the phone too much while recording and the audio is actually again pretty fine as well so the Lego S8 Pro definitely very close to that Samsung S8 experience with usable cameras very light and fast performance on this device and Android 7 one one Nougat and some free teams and wallpapers but its biggest sound phone is currently the price it's retailing to is around $300. I really do think Lego should definitely drop the price on this one to around $240, $250 to make it much more a lucrative offer. You can buy the phone from link in the description below. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel for more honest reviews on tech from China. And if you're looking for the affordable Chinese phones, I have lots of videos, so do check them out and share them so that your friends can enjoy them as well.